The focus of the AIM initiative is to develop novel capabilities that enable a human to perform a task in a streaming data environment. It's important to recognize that analysis in motion is different than analysis at rest. In analysis in motion, you only have one opportunity typically to review the data. You have a limited ability to store that data, and the data is temporal, so older data is less relevant than new data. We have research programs in three basic areas. First, we have research programs in streaming data characterization. That is, how can we analyze data as it comes straight off the stream and, and sample it correctly? Then we also have research in stream summarization algorithms. That is, how can we take the data which comes off of the stream, possibly sampled, and raise it to the level of summaries of what's going on in the stream that are relevant to the user? And finally, we have a set of research in user experience of streams. That is, how can we understand and optimize the user interaction with the streams? And moreover, how can we prompt and understand the set of user actions which are going to go backwards and affect the stream processing algorithms or the world itself dynamically? So all of these together give us a capability to understand interactive streaming analytics at scale. So think about AIM in the same way you'd think about driving a car or flying an airplane. You make the decisions on the fly, given the stream of data which is coming at you. Um, you. What you don't do is collect a lot of data and then figure out a week later what you should have done. AIM is about trying to analyze that process of understanding the stream and making the decisions. PNNL gives us the freedom to do this kind of research, but the reason they do is because this is part of the mission of a national laboratory, to solve these great big systemic problems which are important to the nation 